What's up guys, this is Balash from Racing Brick. I've got this cool little Creator 3-in-1 set with me today, the 31111 Cyber Drone. Actually, I've got two of them. Now it's a pretty nice little set, you can build a drone, a mech and a flying scooter. We will definitely take a look at the builds, but that's not the most interesting part of the story right now. These boxes might look identical, but one of them has a little surprise in it, as it is already using the brand new paper-based inner packaging instead of the plastic bag. Let's take a look inside. Meanwhile, a short recap. In 2015, LEGO announced their key investments to accelerate the development of more sustainable product materials and packaging, so it took some time to arrive to this point. As you see, this box still has the good old single-use plastic bags inside. Single-use does not mean it is not recyclable at all, but this type of soft polypropylene is not widely accepted at recycling facilities worldwide, so it might be a challenge to find anyone processing it properly in your area. This other box, however, has the brand new paper-based bags. So, both boxes have two unnumbered bags and the building instructions. The first difference is pretty obvious. The plastic is transparent, but the paper bags aren't. They are a bit translucent, by the way, so you can see if there's anything in them, but cannot identify the pieces for sure. So, what are the important aspects LEGO was focusing on besides the material itself? First of all, these paper bags can stand on their own, so it is easier to use them for storage. Plastic bags can't really stand, not even the bigger ones. There will be different sizes of paper bags, of course. The bigger ones can stand, the smaller ones have this pillow bag shape. I took this photo at a presentation during the LEGO Fan Media days where a lot of information was shared with us. There are also different designs printed on them. The bigger one here with this stud pattern will be mainly used in the 18 plus products. These smaller ones have bricks on them matching the theme. You will see this the most, I guess, but there will be a design for Duplo and Technic as well. Another neat attention to detail before we open them, do you see these corners? They are sealed to prevent smaller pieces being stuck there, that's really cool. Now let's open this one. There's a perforation at the top for an easier opening experience, but despite the look here, it is not resealable unfortunately. You have to rip that section off anyway. That's where the bag is heat sealed. LEGO considered making it resealable, but to be able to do that, the bag couldn't be fully recyclable since additional plastic components would be required. Paper as a material is not that obvious by itself, by the way. LEGO bricks have edges and especially sharp corners, so the paper needs the proper strength and durability. The team at LEGO tested more than 70 different paper types until they found the proper one, while still focusing on the recyclability. There's a thin layer inside that makes the package heat sealable, but altogether based on the standards, this is still considered as recyclable. Another advantage of the paper, you can fold the top and sort of close it, this doesn't work with plastic. I think shiny reflections of the plastic could be one of the main reasons why people forget smaller pieces in the bags regularly. The matte finish and uniform color of the paper might also help with that. These pieces here might not be the best examples, but you get the point. And as I mentioned, elements won't get stuck in the corners either. And what about the set itself? It's a very cool little 3-in-1 model. I really like these as you get 3 different quick and enjoyable builds. I assembled the main one, it's like a 10-15 minute build, but it has some cool building techniques and a surprising amount of Technic pieces. There are a lot of movable parts, the engines, all these flaps around, the cabin, we have a robot figure that can sit there, and I really like how the different joints are integrated in this model that are not really used here to be movable, but they are very much needed for the Mac for example. A great little set for only 10 bucks, definitely recommended. So, this is a great step forward for LEGO regarding the packaging. First generation packaging lines are ready and they started the production. It's a big task of course to change all the machinery in all factories around the world, so the rollout happens gradually until the end of 2025. Until then you might still see plastic bags or even mixed bags in the LEGO boxes. I'm sure there will be people who will miss the transparent plastic bags, but I'm actually happy to see a more sustainable material being used even if the transparency of the bags had to be sacrificed. What about the bricks themselves? As you might know, LEGO is already using a bio PE based software material for plants and certain minifigure accessories. There are more than 150 different elements today, which means more than 50% of the produced LEGO boxes have at least one bio PE element. This is a softer material, so it is not suitable for the generic bricks. LEGO is currently using about 20 different plastic compounds with different properties, 
This means there's no solution that would fit for all. They need to find different materials for the different use cases, focusing on durability, quality and safety. There are experiments with recycled PET. We could see some test samples last year. Currently, the team is testing multiple solutions for coloring. It is a high quality material, but not as sturdy as ABS, which means there's still a lot of research to do. LEGO is committed to use sustainable materials in production by 2030. We will see how it goes, but it's great to have a sample of one of the big milestones in hand. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments, folks. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. I also suggest to subscribe with notifications as more exciting LEGO videos are coming soon. See you next time. Bye-bye.